I really hope this version has lemons. Are they the lemons? Why is there no lemons? Anywhere. Is that a lemon? Is that the lemon? I think that's the lemon. Oh, uh, I hope so. I think they're the lemons. I guess I can't really find out. I guess we don't really have time to find out. Um, I've pressed the wrong buttons. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! We've made it. So, patience. Moving to his opponent's side of the map. Is he going to proxy 2 gate from here? It's a long way to proxy 2 gate from. I, I guess it has to be though, I mean, unless he just goes for a proxied stalker, single gateway, it's a possibility as well. Either way, let's uh, very quickly introduce our players while we figure out what's going on. In the upper right hand corner representing alien invasion, it's going to be patience in the pink colour. In the lower left hand corner, we're going to be seeing the blue Protoss player from Cascade, it's a Dominus. So, there is a gas being taken by um, Patience. Donovus is actually scouting out here. Oh, wow. Oh, he sees it. Just rallying across the map, he sees it. That was a little bit of a mistake by Patience. But, this isn't a massively all in. Oh, wow. First time, second gateway. Well, so he basically what he's doing right now is he's proxying a free stalker rush. Which is intriguing, and we'll see how it's going to work out. The first stalker is going to be on the way here in just a moment, but Dominus has seen at least one gateway here. So he's got to think to himself, you know, what could be coming? How am I going to respond to this? He's probably going to add on a second gateway for himself out of safety. And there we go. That's not actually... Okay, so Patience also starts Cyber X call on this side of the map, so this is really intriguing. There's a Zealot on the way for now. Probe coming into scout, seeing what's up. He sees a second gateway on the way for. Uh, no, sorry, yeah, he does see a second gateway on the way for Donmus. Not too close though. Donmus gets his first seller out right here, and uh, it's not, you know, patience has to do a lot of damage with this push because if he doesn't, he's got two gateways which are going to die early on in this game. As uh, there's his uh, zealot here, Chronobus on the stalker for Donmus. So, I mean, I think patience. Sure, I think Adonis can afford to pull some probes, and if he does, he's going to find himself in just a fine position. Nice using the probe to fight this Zealot as well. That will actually give a fair a bit of advantage to Adonis here, as a Mothership Core comes out as well, and that's also going to help. Getting that Zealot on low HP could very well just be good enough here if uh, these Stalkers move up this ramp and just uh, target it down straight away. Uh, but deciding to back off here for a moment. Two more Stalkers on the way for both players right now, as this Mothership Core is being chased. The Zealot will go down, no it won't, nice pullback from Adonis there, and uh, Adonis doing quite a lot of damage to Patience's, Patience, bloop, I can't say Patience, Patience's Stalker, as another Stalker comes in he will lose one of them, but he will get another, and now in fact he's actually going to end up going, uh, taking a pretty huge Stalker advantage here, as the Mothership Core is going to be under fire as well, and uh, that Mothership Core is on 18 energy away from being able to throw an overcharge, which is a pretty big, uh, time to wait still and their uh, patience is going to come into this main base again he is chasing down that throw and overcharge on the mothership call once throw and overcharge comes out Adonis gains so much extra time to just do with uh, to do what he wants and it's only in three seconds now so that's not going to go down and uh, throw and overcharge should just be used here I'm pretty sure about it there we go patience is forced back in this situation so patience also with this uh, pile on the high ground um, he hasn't researched warp gate because this is a pretty all-in attack. He's only on a single gas. He needed all the gas he could get. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think patience is looking too good here. I mean, he's got a little bit more army. He's got to wait for this uh, photon overcharge to dissipate. He's got. He's about. The problem is once uh, warp gate finishes for his opponent. Then Adonis is going to be in this position where he can warp in so many more units so much faster. 
And right now, uh, Patience is just pushing Adominus back as much as he can. But he is going to be chased and has to fall back to his gateways. <coughs> and Adominus now, as he overcommitted a little bit here, he's going to lose most of these stalkers if he isn't careful. Mothership Paul is going to go down as well, but no, Patience actually messes that micro up. And Adominus is going to come right in and surround all of these stalkers. And all of these stalkers are going to start going down. And, uh, well... Patience just trying to move away there as uh, another stalker of his comes out, but now he's lost the micro one. Adonimus puts a pile up so that he can warp in just in range. And Adonimus just looking great here in this second game of the day, looking as though he might very well even this up. And Patience, well, he is actually managing to kill off these stalkers right now. This is actually still a little bit even. Two more stalkers on the way for Adonimus now. Patience has less health on his stalkers, and that's something you've got to keep in mind as well. As uh, two stalkers die on either side, no, two stalkers are so low on HP, and one of them will go down, and wow, Patience is still ahead, but there's the warping as well, and that warping is absolutely huge, and GG is just called, he knows it's game over, Adonimus takes game number two to even us up, 1-1. One, one.